to see how this church trial. So what happened was that they went for their appeal on Friday, and before that, the media actually advertised about it on Thursday. Here are some Singaporeans reacting to the City Harvest Church trial. Some Singaporeans believe that the laws can't touch them because the laws favor the rich and powerful, especially their lawyer is the ruling party MP. They are just leaning on an MP to get away. And it wasn't even a fair trial or a fair judgment. They have wasted so much taxpayers' money and the judgment is nothing. Not only that, the AGC has something very wrong with them. Just think about how the dancer had influenced them in the previous video. Some people believe that we should look into our system because there's something very wrong about our system. Only the rich people will get discount and your judgment depends on who you get as your representing lawyer. It's a joke on the justice system and if you have money you can get away with anything, just like contempt of court. The rich and powerful will always win because they are always favouring the rich. The system is nothing but a place hoy for a rich and the rich can get away with crimes. Especially when their lawyer is the ruling party MP. Don't you expect yourself to lose faith in the system? A kangaroo court because money can overcome justice. Just imagine if the case happened to a normal person, but then money can make the world go round. All you need to do is to hire the ruling party MP as your big shot lawyer. Because there's no justice here, and with that, they will protect the weak and powerful, and you can win. If you have money and you can buy the judge, this is wrong and this is disgusting. It's all brutal and a miscarriage of justice, because the ruling party MP is the lawyer. For the ruling party to be their lawyers, it's disgusting. For them to lose their moral compass, it's a major joke in the eyes of the world. Some people think that it's unacceptable because they are bullying the poor people, whereas protecting and favoring the rich. This is how they clean dirty money and then use them to hire the best lawyer so that you get some discount on your terms. With money, you can do anything, such as hiring the ruling party MP as your lawyer. Some people have lost hope in the system because if you are rich and then you are a criminal, you can get away. But if you are poor, even if you do nothing wrong and it's innocent, people will call you a criminal or a murderer. Some have lost trust in the entire system because the ruling party MP is the representing lawyer and it's nothing but a trustee of justice. The whole fiasco is nothing but a charade because who is paying the ruling party's MP? The sentence was reduced because of the ruling party MP. If not for the ruling party MP, do you think you can get away? Do you believe that there's justice here? The flaws is that the system only protects the rich, and even they get discount and festive season, and they can delay and defer their terms. Whereas if you're average people, you will be sent into the prison and locked up immediately. Some people think that ruling party MP shouldn't be involved, but then if you are rich, you always win. The system is screwed up, but it is what Singapore is good for. Justice is a far away truth. The richer you are, the lighter your sentence. Don't expect there to be justice for all, regardless of religion and wealth. The system is biased. The rich and powerful can get away with anything. Now, who says politics is not about playing the the post in Singapore is worse than many other countries, and those are just rubbish from them. It's also possible that the AGC purposely gave a very weak case, so can you still trust the law and system? Some people question the qualifications of those making the judgment, and they say that it's biased for a country to have two systems for the rich and for the average Singaporeans. Some people say that the needs to be investigated. And not only that, there are some people who also brought out the NKS saga. During the NKS saga, someone said $600,000 is peanuts. Do you remember which prime minister was saying that? There are also people who say that the judge is biased and we got to check his background. In addition to that, there are also people who say that all you need to do is to get the ruling party MP as your lawyer. Some people say that they cry for the system, for the respect that it's losing. Not only that, there are also some people questioning 
Why is the judge explaining their answers? But that's not so interesting. That's because you have yet to go to trial where the judge actually answers the question for the witnesses instead. Some people believe that the judge and them are from the same church and because of that they have lost trust in the Singapore system. The laws are for the rich and against the poor. We need a background check on them, but can we? The lawyer is a PABMP, that's enough said. And CPIB should be involved, but they won't. Even if they do, they will say that they have own self check on self and nothing is wrong. The real problem is that Singapore chose this system back in 2015. So what if the judges will be judged? Some people believe that the judge has makan, which means eaten. Eaten what? We don't know. What do you think the judge could have eaten? Some people believe that the judge should be judged and they are maybe from CHT church as well. Some people spoke the truth that the real fault is because Singaporean chose this back in 2015 and that is actually 70% of Singaporeans to be exact. In addition to that, the reason why they have succeeded is because the ruling party and is their lawyer. There are Singaporeans who ask, is it because the judges are Christian? And why is it that the justice always favours the rich? And the 101 comment is, does the ruling party MPs have any sense of shame? The answer is no. The ruling party MPs are the people who say that NS men deserve their low pay and you shouldn't ask for a higher salary. They deserve their multi-million salary, whereas you just deserve your $1,000 premium salary. Because $1,000 can get you a HDB flat, just like $8 can get you a hard bypass. In addition to that, remember who said $600,000 is peanuts? If you Singaporeans don't have peanuts to buy your HDB flat, whose fault is it? Who is the one who chose this system?